What is going on guys? Welcome back to another video. Thank you for checking out the channel. I appreciate it. If you guys are new, make sure you leave a like. Subscribe to the channel if you knew. I'd appreciate it. If you want daily sports predictions, you know where to find us. Anyways, getting to another video, guys. Another correct prediction in the NBA. Once again, we keep dominating these playoffs. We like the Nuggets to cover the six-point spread today. They do as they went out right, which sucks. If you had the Lakers futures, man, now they're down in a 3-0 hole. It's going to take the unimpossible, the impossible. LeBron came back from 3-1. Is he going to do 0-3? Man, it's it's unlikely, but never say never, I guess. Um, but like I said, um, it's been a great ride. Um, if you took the Lakers futures, they had great odds, so you didn't have to risk a lot to win a lot. Um, nobody expected the Lakers to be in the Western Conference Finals at the start in 2-10. So say what you want. It is what it is. Um, nobody expected them. Um, you know, you had the King stuff going on. Um, what could have added to it. But um, if the Lakers don't come back and win this series, hey, it is what it is, man. Um, don't take away from the fact that we had a great playoff so far. We had a great postseason. We had a great end to the NBA season. Only the real ones know. Um, been a pretty damn good postseason. I told you guys when the Lakers was eight games below 500, they're going to make the playoffs. I said they're going to win the first two. I said they're going to beat the Grizzlies. They're going to beat the Warriors. So nonetheless, it doesn't matter if they don't win the finals. Yeah, we would have liked to see if they win the finals. Um it would have been great, but there were still other ways that you can benefit from them. And like I said, about a week ago or so, a couple of days ago, the odds were still plus 200, 250. I said, if it's not going to be the Lakers in the finals, the only other finals options I would go with would be the Heat versus Nuggets. You would have the narrative of, oh, the Nuggets and everybody's underestimating us. And the same with uh, Jimmy Butler and the Heat. Oh, we're injured. Everybody's underestimating us. Nuggets 56 season, Miami Heat equals 56. You'd have a one versus eight seed. Um, perhaps maybe it ends, it maybe it ends on the 18th in June. We we'll, we shall see. But hey, I do my best to provide winning quality. You're not gonna get everything right. But um, I t the reason why I said that option because that would give you insurance because if that comes through, you're still gonna make something from your finals that if you have with the Lakers, it's called being smart. It's called being wise. Stop trying to be an idiot and stop trying to hate and stop trying to troll instead of use the knowledge to help you. Um, like I said, the King stuff, man, like you couldn't overlook it. Like, how could we overlook it? You know what I mean? I mean, of course, a seven seed never won the final. So, of course, it was a long shot. That's why the odds were so high. That means don't risk a lot and you can still profit based off of how we did in the playoffs, which we did amazing. Called the Lakers to make the playoffs. Called them to win their first two series, which they was underdogs. You know what I mean? It, 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 that's what it is. So, for you criticizing hate. And then, uh, boom. Halftime this score game. The Nuggets was uh, trailing. Halftime. The halftime score gave away the game. Plus 100 at live halftime. Uh, that's what it is, man. It's not giving up. It's called reading through the numbers and realizing where it's at. Sometimes if you, you know look too far ahead for the futures... Um, sometimes if you, you know, book futures in advance, looking at the game right in front of you, sometimes the numbers can go a different way and it counter reacts. It's because you look too far ahead. But when you look at, when you do it game by game, playoff by playoff, like we, like we've been doing, that's where you benefit the most. Um, anyways, guys, I gave out the notes for this game. I talked about, and I even told this. When I decoded the series, I said if the Lakers lost the series, it's not over yet. Mind you, I mean, it's going to take a, a miracle to come back from 3-0. But I said it's a 7 seed versus the 1 seed, and the Nuggets never beat the Lakers in the playoff series. If they won, they would get the Lakers would fall to 7-1 and one versus the Nuggets in playoff series. 7 versus 1 seed. Lakers fell to 8-7 and seven in the playoffs this year. Jim Brown died at age 87, died in L.A., Lakers stayed on 87 game three wins. Look at that. Mm-mm-mm. Right here. I said right here. Lakers was 138 and 86 for Denver. They, they could get their 87 loss. Jim Brown died at 80, 87 in L.A. You're probably like, man, are they going to stay on 87 versus Denver? Wow, wouldn't that be something? But, yeah, we're going to ride out um, until it's done. But that's why I tell you. Um, but, man, if you took my advice couple days ago you're in a great spot nonetheless so say what you want but it is what it is man 
Um, yeah, LeBron could have improved a 17-5 and at home in the playoffs with the Lakers, but he didn't. That 175 hasn't been hitting. He still won one away from, that's why I said, man, if they do a reverse from the bubble, that would suck because, remember, the Lakers won 4-1 in the bubble. Now, if he only won one playoff game, one more, one more, uh, you know, if he only wins one more game this season, like versus Denver, he gets 190 all-time win with the Lakers. Denver Nuggets equals 190. He now has 64 home losses. So I imagine, I would assume, they at least take game four and he would be, he'd have his 190 all-time win with LA and he get his 60, and he would stay on 64 home losses. But we'll see when that game comes. He's still, man, he's 42 in five conference finals. Now Lakers equals 42. Are they saying are they saying LeBron's never gonna win another conference finals game? Is he gonna stay on forty two? Or is he getting a forty three to Colorado number? He fell to six and six in conference finals in game three. Lakers equals sixty six. Oh man, this stat this is what I said. This was uh see like that said, like when you make a when you make a finals pick, like a future pick, you don't know about these records on Saturdays or the weekdays until you're actually decoding that game. People don't understand that. LeBron fell a 20 and 1 at home on Saturdays and the Je uh, Jesuit order equals 201. I how would I have known that 2 3 months ago? You know what I mean? You don't know that until like the game of and then that's whenever you can attack. That's why we said Nuggets to cover the spread was the wise play and then once you seen the halftime score, we said boom, Nuggets probably do win this game. It doesn't look good for the Lakers. That's called being smart and looking looking through it right through it. LeBron record at home on this was his first loss on Saturday. Can you believe it? Man, something uh man, something tells me is he never gonna win another conference finals game? Stay on forty two? Mm mm. We'll see though. His next one is forty three. That's the Colorado number. In playoffs all time. Twenty and one guys. I just ordered two oh one. Nuggets improved eleven and three in the playoffs. National Basketball Association equals one one three. Kobe Bryant equals one one three. Um Nuggets are still one loss away from the 87th. Jim Brown died at age 87 in L.A. Yeah, now Jokic is one win away. Jokic and the coach from the 33. NBA Finals League was 33. I said got some numbers going against the King. Could it 2 one with the loss and got against them. I said that if they lose this game, I could see series ending in five, so... So far, they are six-point dogs as of now. Nuggets to cover. Look at this. It was also 87 days from Bruce Brown's, um, from, until Bruce Brown's birthday. Jim Brown died at age 87. Jim Brown got the 49 connection like Bruce Brown. Um, I said you can sprinkle um, him to make one plus three with minus 125, which he did. So there's another correct prediction. So Nuggets to cover. Bruce Brown to make one three. And uh, Denver money line at halftime. Let's look at the halftime score, okay? 32 to 26, 58 points. Lakers had 55. 58 plus 55 is 113. 113, and the Nuggets was 10 and 3 in the playoffs. So we had 113 points at halftime, and the Nuggets improved 11 and 3 in the playoffs with the win. And then he was up by 3 at halftime to take a 3 0 lead. So the halftime score did give it away. That's why I told everybody. We like the Nuggets to cover six points before they play a good spot, but the halftime score doesn't look good for the Lakers. See that? 58-55-113. Nuggets could get the 11-3 in playoffs and take a 3-0 lead. So, that's what it is, man. So, make sure you know the true facts before you speak, um, before you try to criticize or hate. But, hey, if you're enjoying the movement and rock out with us, you know what to do. It's been a great playoff so far. Nonetheless, let's see if the uh, Lake Show can at least put up a fight and win, 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 that, win at least one game for the 190th win for LeBron. Um, and then I'll take it from there. But nonetheless, man, it's been a great playoff. Going to keep it going, and uh, we'll see if there's any life in the Lake Show. 
Um, and then uh, once we get to the NBA Finals, guys, I will have the coverage for the NBA Finals on the channel. I need you to show some love, subscribe. I'll go ahead and drop my once we get that once we get that official and set. I'll have that out for you guys. Anyways, appreciate you guys. Until next time, I'll see you guys later.